Scorpio, welcome to this work and money tarot reading. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. Now, Scorpio, trust there's a message here for you if you have found this reading or if it has found you. And the timing that you are watching it is perfect. That is when it is relevant. Okay, we've got your past supports your future. So it feels like everything you have done leading up till now um, has prepared you for this moment. But also the moments that you might have perceived as failures have been lessons that um, have also led you to, to the successes that you will have in the future. So your past supports your future and all of the things as relevant or irrelevant as what you feel they are actually have played into you know, setting yourself up for your future and what you are doing in this present moment is creating your future as well. And that's why we need to be doing, uh, you know, doing positive things and shifts and changes. Now, I've got the spark of hustle. And for me, this is an energy of the divine masculine of the doing energy. So what do you need to do? Where do you need to fire up? Where do you need to lead stronger? Where do you need to make moves? I'm kind of feeling emperor energy coming through. So things might be about to, to grow, to expand. Let's see what we have from the Angels of Abundance. Declutter. Okay, you're being asked to make space for the new. It says you'll feel better and more focused if you'll take time to clear away the clutter from your living and workspace. Donate what you need to help others and be sure to keep your schedule uncluttered as well because when we remove that we do create energetic and physical space for new energy to come in. I'm a big fan of, of minimalism myself. I don't really have that many belongings and I like it that way. All right, let's... Let's get the next one out. And I've got Quiet Retreat. This one's been coming out so much today. So it says it's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. Maybe you have been hustling hard, but you're not getting the results that you want. And the Quiet Retreat energy is saying, well, take a pause and take a moment to re-strategize to get the clarity on your next move. Because if we stay in hustle culture all the time, inevitably we burn out. All right, Scorpio, going to the tarot. Se yeah, Seven of Wands, that's the spark of hustle right there. It's like I am fighting and working as hard as I can but I'm spinning my wheels. It's like every time I complete a task, there's two more back on the, the list. And it could be that your employer is doing that to you or that maybe, you know, you're working harder rather than smarter because you don't even have time to, to think about how you can do things differently. So the Seven of Wands is like, you know, just this real hustle energy of working really hard, so much coming at you. But spirit wants you to know that you've actually got the higher ground. You're capable, but it's not sustainable. That's the the main discernment there. Yeah, and shadow works here. And this is really interesting, and it's 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 resonating something in in me as well because the shadow aspect of us and our you know the culture that most of us are in is that. Um, hard work is what's rewarded like I had a like one of my last employers um quite a few years ago was I was in a leadership position like leading a team and they were like well now that you're in the position this position it would be really good if you were seen to be the last person leaving and I was like well why that is no indication on how hard I'm working but in their minds that's the perception of the person that works hardest um stays longest um, sacrifices more of themselves, more of their work-life balance. So look into your shadow aspect here about how, what you think about hard work and, um, you know, doing more and um, sacrificing more. It's not always the right way and it becomes addictive, like addictive, addicted to, to, to working, addicted to spending all of your energy on that. So there could be something in the shadow about your your beliefs around how you need to work. Because I'm, fe yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling that kind of burnout energy. Yeah, the, in the the universe is here, and this is the last major arcana that comes after final judgment. Like this is the world card, and it's usually about ending a really long cycle. So you might have been pushing in this job, or you know whatever it is, business career. Maybe it's a study course for some of you. And it feels like, you know, something's got to give, but it also, you're also being told here that that's coming to completion, whether it's actually like 
the, coming to the end of a contract or, um, you know, like you're finishing that course or you are the one that needs to, to end it because the universe for me is also a spiritual graduation card. So it's almost like you're, you're realizing cause it's trumping shadow work. I actually don't need to do that. And I'm actually not available for just burning myself out. There is something smarter than I, that I can do. So you're actually getting ready to change cycles. And I'm not sure if you saw, but I um, had the wheel of fortune flipping in the deck when I was trying to pull that card. So you're actually ready for a new cycle and a new change and doing things a little bit differently. Like you still got to take a lot of action, but there's also that energy of allowing things to unfold and surrendering. And a lot of magic comes when we like plant the seeds, right? But then we step away. We put some water on them every now and then, but we're not micromanaging. We're not overly expecting anything. And that's when the changes and the shifts can come. But yeah, the Nine of Swords is here and this can be, well, you know, it's the stress and tension and worry about the letting go. And it's also the worst case scenario thinking for me. So it's like, well, if I don't do this, if I release, if I change this role, you know, what's going to happen? Yeah, devil energy, that's right. But there feels like there's a sense of entrapment um, in this current situation. The devil coming through is is unsustainable energy. So it needs to be, uh, you know, mindfully managed now. You could be in a contract that you feel like you can't get out of or that you feel um, you feel obligated to or you feel powerless in getting out of it. Now, it, there could also be someone like an employer who is, you know, saying things like, you know, we can't have anyone leave right now. You'd be letting down the team. Just be mindful of the scripts that other people are giving you because ultimately, if you're a nine of swords and you're not sleeping properly and you're working hard and you're burning out, that's not sustainable for you and you've got to put yourself first. And you've got to make a judgment call. Isn't that interesting? Because that's what we were talking about with the universe, that you're moving through final judgment right now. So it's clear to me now you're in a situation that is kind of like it's slowly squeezing the life out of you. It's like being in a vice. Like, and the more you kind of wriggle, like the tighter it gets. That's the feeling and the image I'm getting. Like you're in a straitjacket and more you kind of like try and fight it, it just pulls tighter. And it could be this employer is trying to like screw every piece of hard work out of you. And it's absolutely not sustainable because it's just too much of the hustle culture. So you're, I feel like you're actually needing a break. And if you've got any leave, I think that maybe even a mental health day or two. Um, and you don't have to say it's a mental health day. If you don't feel comfortable with that, you could be sick. Is going to, you need to step out and take separation here so that you can get clarity and when you when you do come down out of this energy so you need that once your central nervous system comes back down and you look into the situation from that place you're going to go whoa is that really how I was working is that really how I was feeling that's not okay and then you're going to want to liberate and free yourself from it and you're being asked to make a really powerful judgment call here and that judgment call is to step away from that cycle you have four of swords so that's the quiet retreat energy for me you're really needing that pause and that's going to lead to the clarity and the ace of swords the victory is like right in front of you but it's almost like you're resisting it because of the three of swords like you don't want to disappoint you don't want to disappoint it might not be about disappointing the employer because I kind of feel like you know it's a bit of devil energy, but it could be your work team, you know, because you're all in this together and you love your colleagues and hey, you might not, you might even love what you do, but it's not supporting your mental or physical health is what I'm feeling. So take that couple of days or a couple of hours if that's all you can get um, or do something in the weekend that allows you to completely get some you time so that you can declutter your thoughts around this um and i feel that you will be moving on from this when you perceive that time is right and there is a powerful there'll be a powerful breakthrough in your energy your health and your happiness as well so that's what i have for you scorpio i hope that resonated if you would like a personal reading for your specific circumstances and to see what's next please do reach out to um, the first link down below to my website you can check out what i offer and do come across to instagram for daily readings and i'm also doing uh, different types of readings not readings, sorry videos over there about 
things like what does it mean when you see 11 11 or like how does tarot reading work and all those questions that you might have um I'm doing it over there because the algorithm doesn't really like things to be mixed up too much here although I might give it a go but it won't be until I get my channel really buoyant again because I recently took a break if you've heard my rant in my previous video and uh, it really went down so I'll get it back up if I can and then I might try and introduce some of that content but for now um, it's happening in short videos on, on Instagram. So I'm just wishing you all the love and magic, take care of you, do something for you this weekend, even if it's something little, um, a little cheeky pleasure or something, you know, go and treat yourself because I really think that you need it and also you just deserve it and you've worked hard. Sending you all the love and magic, bye for now.